Are y'all ready for yoga tonight? Let's do a card before we start. I know we need to start. Um, let's do a power thought card. I'm feeling power thought or even love yourself. Let's do love yourselves in the, in the name of Valentine's Day. Seeking that love from within. Okay, thank you guys for being here. Um, first, let me tell you how grateful I am for you that we connected here and that if you liked my first class and you decided to come back, just to know that I appreciate you so very much and thank you for coming back. If this is your first time here in the yoga class with us together, we start at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Um, I'm running just one minute or two behind, had a few sound issues today. We do 40 minutes of yoga asana and 20 minutes of yoga nidra. I have about 12, or four, 12 to 14 different yoga nidra guided meditations here on Insight Timer. So if you've never tried yoga nidra and this is gonna be your first time tonight, you're in for a really nice, relaxing treat. All right, this card is for us. As I was shuffling the deck, it just floated out. So we're gonna just go with it today. We're gonna go with the flow. With every breath I take, I am getting healthier and healthier. My body is a mirror of my inner thoughts and beliefs. I nourish it with good foods and healthy exercise. How perfect for this yoga class. Yoga is a fantastic exercise and yoga nidra is an amazing exercise for the mind. Rather, maybe you want to call it a practice on both counts, a practice of yoga and a practice of meditation. Shall we start class? Come to a nice, easy seated pose and please feel free to chat with me through the class. I'll try to keep an eye on it if you have any concerns as we go through yoga asana. I'm Grace. I've got two dogs here in the studio with me, Benjamin and Anna. Anna is just on this little cushion right here and she's, they're both already passed out. Benjamin's off to the side. He's just off camera. Find yourself on a seat that where you can like lift yourself up either with a blanket, a block, um, something just to lift those hips a little higher than the knees. Close your eyes. Feel into your own body. Oh, that music might be a little loud. Sorry about that. Okay. Take in a deep breath in through the nose and out through the nose. And as you exhale, let your shoulders drop away from your ears. Unclench your jaw and just move the jaw from side to side. Find stillness with the jaw. Slightly dip the chin and feel a lengthening in the back of your neck. Allow yourself to be really inviting of releasing and relaxing through this practice. There should be nothing in this practice that is painful or that hurts or that causes you to feel numbness or tingling. So only good vibes. Breathe in through the nose, expand the abdomen, expand the rib cage and exhale through the nose. And I will count. We will do a few rounds of box breathing. Inhale, two, three, four, pause, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, pause, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, pause, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, pause, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, pause, two, three, 
four, exhale, two, three, four, pause, two, three, four, one more round, inhale, two, three, four, pause, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, pause, two, three, four, and release control of the breath. Let your eyes gently flutter open. Welcome. Hi. So nice to have you here. Bring your right hand, float it up just a bit, and then place it gently down on the mat beside you and inhale your left arm up and over. Press your left sits bone into that mat and reach and lengthen in through the left side body. Breathe, exhale. Send that left palm, float it easily down onto the mat and inhale the right arm up and press your right sits bone down. Lengthen in through the right side. I see the hearts coming. Exhale, release the top hand down. And walk your hands over to the right. Hug your right shoulder blade back and in toward the center of your back. Walk the hands back through center and over to the left. So these twists are amazing for helping us to detox and squeeze out anything in our digestive system. Helps us to find flexibility in our spines, release back to center and switch whichever foot is on bottom to the top. Roll your shoulders up, inhale, and exhale, release them back and down. Inhale, forward and up, and exhale, back and down, good. Two more times. One more time. And release the hands down by your side. Inhale the arms up together, palms gently touch at the top, maybe exhale down. Imagine that you are moving through um, the arms through something thicker than air, that you're pressing through something like molasses. Can you imagine molasses? Ugh, really thick and sticky, but somehow we are immune to it actually sticking to our skin. Exhale down. Just feel the stretch in the forearms. And one more time. Inhale those arms up. Exhale down. Very nice. Take your left ear toward your left shoulder. Sink your right shoulder down. Again, just notice where your body starts to tighten or clench. Like, are you clenching in through your jaw? If you find yourself in the practice, furrowing the brow. Notice what is the source. On your next exhale, sink the chin toward the center of the chest and take the right ear toward the right shoulder. Exhale that chin back to center, lengthen the back of the neck and then lift the crown, seated cat cow, place the palms on the knees. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the chin. Inhale, feel your shoulder blades slide back and down. Squeeze in toward the spine, feel the arch in the back. Exhale, round. 
very mindful practice. So not going through the motions. Just being very mindful and noticing what muscles, like make this a, a practice of inquiry. What muscles are tensing as we move through here? Can you feel your abdomen and your core like pressing in and you're actually getting core strength here? Nice. And release, wonderful. Send your right leg out to the side. Keep the sole of your left foot hugged up the inner, against the inner thigh. And uh, turn those hands, like walk those hands toward that right leg, place one on either side. And if the heel's kind of hurting, you can bring a blanket underneath that foot for a little bit more comfort. Okay, press in through the sits bones, lift up out of the pelvis, exhale, forward fold, very gently. So not a, like you wanna, you don't wanna go to your 100% stretch here. Keep it about 50. It's okay if those toes are relaxed away from the body. A lot of times in our practice, we'll draw those toes in. This is not the, the one of those times. We are finding our flexibility today through ease and through allowing. Walk the hands back toward the body and take it to the other side. Stretch your left leg out. Maybe you want that heel on the mat. Maybe it feels a little bit softer there and the sole of the right foot on the left inner thigh. Gently walk the hands on either side of the left leg, press in through the sits bones, and reach up, feel that slight arch in the back, opening in the front chest. Exhale, forward fold, only going to about your 50%. Good. Oh, you can see my glass of water there. It's always good to have water, but not always good to have it on screen. Sorry. That was all me. That was all me. And walk the hands back. Are you guys um, doing all right? I mean, y'all are here, so I just want to make sure that, okay, I see the hearts, good. Okay, just making sure. Sometimes we have technical difficulties here and I don't know if something has gone wrong. So thank you for those hearts, I see you. Bring the soles of your feet together. Your heels can be further away from the body or closer to your choice completely. Okay. Inhale, sit tall. It's okay if the knees don't come all the way down to the floor. If you need to uh, lift the hip bones up, you can pray, plus place a block underneath the sits bones to lift them up even more. On your next exhale, round forward. Gently tuck the chin. And walk the hands back. Turn sideways on your mat. Remove the blankets for now. Nice gentle practice for ourselves for this Valentine's Day. Oh, straighten the legs out on the mat. Sit tall. Now start to feel your toes drawing toward the body. Support your upper body with your hands, uh, like kickstands with the fingers pointed toward the body or the top of the mat. Point the toes, draw them back toward the body. Maybe alternate and then feel those snap, crackle pops in the ankles. Breathe. Walk the hands back toward the body and bring the shoulders over the hips. Sweep the arms up. Inhale, exhale, forward fold, going to your 50%. Okay, we'll, we'll warm it up. We'll get a little bit further into these stretches. We just need to kind of activate these muscles first. Give them a message. We're going to stretch you here in just a minute, just a little more. You can use your strap around the balls of your feet, holding onto the strap with both hands. Good. Walk the hands back. All right. Draw the right knee in. Place the sole of the right foot on that inner thigh. Relax your right thigh knee down. 
draw that left toe, the toes up toward the body. Grab a strap if you have one. If you don't, you can use a towel and place that strap around the ball of the left foot. Sit tall here. Keep the back naturally straight. And on your next exhale, slightly lean forward. Feel the stretch in the back of the left calf and the left hamstrings. Release back out of this posture. Level two, you can stay here or you can take this right ankle and place it just above the left knee. You can reuse that strap in the same way as before. Sit tall, inhale and exhale, forward fold. Maybe you don't go quite as far this time, but the stretching may feel a little bit more intense and that's okay as long as it doesn't cross into the threshold of pain. If you feel pain, that's that is too much. Maybe you feel like you're going to your 60 or 70% stretch here. And release back up, heart over the hips. You can stay here, you can go back to the first modification, or you can stack the right knee just above the left knee, bringing the heel of your right foot close to your left hip. Okay. Bring that strap into the practice if you want. Deep inhale, feel free to sweep the arms up and exhale, forward fold. Kind of keeping it around that medium level stretch, 60 or 70%. Taking those deep breaths, fully breathe into the lower belly. This helps us to massage our digestive system. And then walk those hands back. We're gonna do that same sequence on the other side. Straighten the right leg out. Bring the sole of the left foot to the right inner thigh. Use your strap if you like around the sole of the right foot. Sit tall. Exhale, gently fold forward. You can keep the back straight if you wish, or as we go into this, maybe you slightly round. Just one more deep breath here. Exhale, back up. Staying here in this modification if you want or bringing that left ankle just above the right knee. Keep both feet flexed, sit tall, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Ouch, and the side's tighter than the other. So you may notice in your own body that one side is definitely tighter than the other. Oh, hey, yeah, good. I'm so happy to see you here. I'm so happy to hear from you. Trina, Sib Trina, relax. Hope I'm reading that right. My nose itches. One more deep breath. And release out of this, bring the shoulders over the hips and then moving on to that third level if you want, stacking the knees or you can keep it at any of the prior two modifications. Option here to inhale those arms up, really stretch up long and tall out of the torso and then exhale forward fold, gently rounding the spine forward. One more deep breath here. 
exhale, come all the way up. Good. All right, let's take it to hands and knees. You can bring a blanket underneath your knees here if you want to. Wrists underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. Keep those fingers spread wide, remember? Tuck the toes, just feel a stretching in the soles of your feet. And then point those toes. Inhale, sink the abdomen down, lift the crown, sink the shoulder blades back and down. Exhale, draw your navel in toward your spine, tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone. Inhale, back to cat pose, sinking the abdomen, lifting the crown and tailbone. Exhale, round the spine. Take a few of these cat cows paired with your own breath space. And wherever you're at, one more. Come back to neutral spine. Shift your weight to your left palm. Make sure it's anchored underneath your shoulder and that you're not crunching your weight directly into your wrist, but you're keeping the weight evenly spread throughout that entire palm. If this is painful. You're always welcome to come up onto knuckles. Inhale the right arm up and feel that stretch even down and through the right hip. Yum. Feels good. Exhale. Bring the fingernail polish side of the hand to the mat and just lightly send it across that mat. Bring your right shoulder down to the floor. Two deep breaths. Exhale, press your left palm back into the mat. Inhale, the right arm up. Exhale, lower that right hand underneath the right shoulder. Shift your weight to that right hand. Inhale, the left arm up. Feel that left shoulder blade hugging in toward the center of the back. Exhale, bring the top of that left hand, the fingernail side of that hand glided across with a light touch underneath your right forearm. Bring your left shoulder down to the mat. Allow yourself to breathe fully. And exhale, press that right palm into the mat. Sweep the left arm back up. Point those fingertips up toward the ceiling and lower the left palm. Tuck the toes, press the hips back, down dog. Keep the fingers spread wide apart. It's better here to have a bend in the knees and maintain lengthening from the hips to the wrists. On your next exhale, shift your weight to your right foot and inhale, float your left leg up. Bend your left knee and then figure eights with your knee. Draw that left knee right next to the right knee and then trace around and up. So with that knee, you're tracing a big figure eight, huge. You're using core strength, building upper body strength and getting our hips nice and warmed up, getting that synovial fluid moving around in those hips. One more. Nice. And release that left leg down. Same thing on the other side. Shift your weight to your left foot. Inhale the right leg nice and high. Bend the right knee and then trace that figure eight with your right kneecap. So bring that right knee down next to the left, cross it over and around. Good, keep breathing. 
You're doing great. Two more. And lower that right leg. Lower the knees. Point to the toes. Press the hips back. Child's pose. So if at any point during the practice you feel fatigued, come down to child's pose. The forehead rests on the mat. Exhale, press up into tabletop, tuck the toes, press the hips down into, back into downward facing dog. Inhale, look between the hands and walk, step or jump to your hands. Inhale to your half lift, exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees deeply, allow your torso to rest on your thighs. Feel your shoulder blades spreading apart like, like they were butter. Just spread them apart. And grasp opposite elbows. Let the head hang gently. Take the head from side to side, like shaking the head. No. Nodding the head, yes. Release the hands. Straighten the legs, walk the hands up. Those legs coming to your half lift, feeling your lower back engaging. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees, sink the hips back, sweep the arms forward and up through chair. Exhale, hands to prayer in front of the heart. Great. Come to the front of the mat. Inhale, the arms forward and up, mini back bend at the top. Exhale, hands to prayer in front of the heart. Shift your weight to your left foot. Step back with the right foot, nice and tall. Lower the right heel down. Inhale, your arms out to parallel and then take your drishti, your gaze, to your front middle finger. Warrior pose. Look down, make sure you can see your big toe on the inside of your front knee. Your back toes can be pointed out to the side or slightly angled in. The heels in warrior two can be in one line or slightly offset. All of our hips are so different. Inhale your arms up, exhale, straighten the front leg, slightly sweep the hands back to the right. Exhale that left palm forward. Bring the shoulders over the hips, turn both palms down, sweep the hips back to the right, reach to the left, place your left hand on your left thigh wherever it falls, that's fine. See if you can keep your spine in a naturally straight line. So I'm talking about like, you don't wanna compromise and try to go all the way to the floor, but while having like the spine twisted, okay? If you can touch the floor and still keep your spine straight, but this isn't really about getting to the floor. This is about how do you feel in this triangle pose? The triangle pose is so wonderful for all body systems. On your next exhale, bring a slight bend into that front knee and bring arms back to parallel and lower the hands. Turn those left toes forward. So both feet are facing forward. The heels here, I can kind of bring them here, are in one line, good. Turn the right toes out toward the right, 90 degrees. Angle the left toes in. Oh, good. Oh, I'll be out on time. Inhale your arms parallel to the floor, bend into that front knee, and make sure your right big toe, that you can see it on the inside of this left knee. Good. Warrior two on the other side. Look to your front middle finger. Bring a smile into your practice. This is a strength building pose. 
arches are lifting. You're doing good. Can you all see Anna? She's just so, she has a smile on her face. Inhale your arms up, straighten the front leg. Exhale your left palm out. Sorry, just kidding. Inhale those both arms up, have a mini slight back bend, feel a stretch in the right side body. Exhale your left arm back behind you and your right arm forward. Sweep your hips to the left, reach to the right, and then turn both hands. Bring your right hand down to your right leg. Left arm moves up over the left shoulder. Triangle pose. You're feeling a stretch all through your left side rib cage on the right inner thigh. So this is a wonderful pose for the lymphatic system, for our endocrine system, digestive system. They call the triangle pose like the, the pose that gets every system, every body system. No locking out of the knees. It's okay to keep up a slight micro bend and then lower that top hand. Wonderful. Turn both toes toward the front. Heel toe the feet together. Okay, and let's take this to the front of the mat. Let's do a little bit of balance and then we'll head down to the flow. All right. Bring hands to heart center in Anjali Mudra, the mudra of gratitude. Shift your weight to your left foot. Raise your right knee up. This is stork pose. Take your right knee out to the side and then plant the sole of your right foot on your left inner leg, either above or below the knee. The toes can be anchored to the floor as well. So your choice. Grow your branches. Come back to center. Release that right leg gently down, all the while feeling your left sole of your foot anchoring down into the ground. So you can bring that foot down as slowly as you want. And step over to your right foot. Bring hands to heart center. Lift that left knee. Stork pose, nice and firm and strong. Even if it's like wiggling, our body is wiggling, that's fine. We're building strength if you feel shaking or wiggling, yay. Take the left knee out to the side and then glue the sole of your left foot above your right knee or below the right knee, or you can keep those left toes down onto the floor. Grow your branches. Wow, balance challenge. Exhale, hands to prayer in front of the heart and then lower that left leg. I'm gonna try to hover my left foot over the floor just for a little extra challenge for myself. And then let's take this down to the mat. Bring the heels to the top of the mat and roll on down. We're gonna get our yoga nidra practice on here. We're gonna do just a couple of more postures. Bring the heels underneath the knees, grab a block, place that block by your side, bring hands down by your hips with the fingers pointed toward the heels, tuck your shoulder blades under your rib cage. Keep your gaze looking up toward the sky or have your eyes closed. Imagine you have that small apple or orange between your chest and your chin, and you're just gently holding it in place. On your next exhale, press the small of your back into the mat. Feel your tailbone lifting away from the floor. Then pull your knees away from your body toward the top of the mat. As you do this, the hips will lift. Press into the soles of your feet and then feel the weight of your body 
in your feet as well as in the tops of your shoulder blades and shoulders. Reach over for that block and slide it underneath your hips, having it kind of like the tall part of that block, uh, like side to side. So you'll want the block underneath your hips completely and then lower your hips down on that block. <sighs> the goal here is to let go and relax. Are you holding any tension or trying to hold your legs in a certain way? If you are, you can even heel toe your feet out just once. Drop the knees inward, see if that feels good and if it allows you to relax even more. Breathe in deeply and exhale, release. Where in your body can you feel your pulse? You are worth the time to relax, to be able to let go. If your knees are inward together, slowly make them to neutral and walk your feet back toward each other, bringing the heels underneath the knees. Breathe in deeply and as you exhale, press the soles of your feet into the mat, draw your knees away from the body and slide the block out from underneath the sacrum, underneath your hips, and then slowly lower from top to bottom, one vertebrae at a time until your hips meet the mat. And drop your knees over to the right. As you do, you may need to move your hands just kind of out of the way, rest them on your belly. Just drop your knees over to the right. Look to your left. Take your gaze back to the ceiling. Bring one knee back in at a time, back to neutral. Press your heels up gent just slowly. I mean, not slowly, a little bit. Lift your hips up so that you can recenter them. Then gently drop your knees over to the left and look to your right. are exactly where you need to be. You can let go and trust that there's a reason for whatever is happening. Bring the gaze back to the ceiling, one by one, one knee at a time. Bring them back to center. Extend the legs out long. Stretch the arms overhead and make your way into your comfortable lying down position. If you wanna take a pose that'll help you, uh, make you feel like you've had just a complete practice today, go ahead and do that. If this pose helps you relax even more, feel free to do that, okay? No rush, no hurry. You are worth the time, so go ahead and take that extra time to get comfortable and cozy. If you're 
in that final pose, go ahead and start to make your way into a comfortable lying down position, whether it's on your back, on your side, on the mat, in a recliner, in your bed, wherever. Just make your way there, get comfortable. So we can practice our Yoga Nidra guided meditation. Your body temperature might drop during this practice. The practice of Yoga Nidra tends to do that. So you may need extra blankets to cover yourself up or some way to keep yourself warm. Wonderful. Now, when you find that comfortable position, close your eyes. Take in a deep breath. Sigh that breath out. Let your body surrender to whatever support you have beneath you. Allow yourself to be completely supported here. Let yourself be the witness in this practice, the observer whatever happened today or didn't happen, it's okay. You are okay. You are well, you are safe. Right now is your time to let go, to be that observer and observe whatever thoughts come up. As they come up, notice them without following their stories and let them go. The practice of Yoga Nidra begins now. Take in a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, sigh the breath out. Make any further adjustments that you need to your body so that you can feel comfortable and still. If your eyes are open, go ahead and close them. Stretch in through your hands, wiggle fingers and toes. Stretch in through your ankles. Take in another inhale. And as you exhale, let them relax fully. Feel into your arms and imagine that they are soft, warm clay easing into the earth. Bring your awareness to your torso, your hips, your legs. Imagine their soft, warm clay. Let your ankles soften. Allow your heels to be anchors. Feel into the soles of your feet and your toes. Notice the space within your body. Notice your abdomen rising and falling with the rhythm of your breath. Scan your body for your pulse.
perhaps you feel your pulse in your hands, your heart center, abdomen, soles of the feet. Imagine the room that you're in, the walls and ceiling and the floor. Recall any furniture in the room. See yourself lying here safely and comfortably. Take your awareness to the space just outside your body. Feel any clothing or blankets touching your skin. Notice any air brushing against your skin. Let the awareness of the body morph and drift to Sankalpa. Sankalpa is a short positive statement said in present tense. It is your deepest and your most heartfelt desire, something that you wish to see happen in your life. Perhaps you already have your Sankalpa and if you do, just hold on to it for a moment. And if you do not, then take this time now and seek out your deepest, your most heartfelt desire and phrase it in a short positive statement as if it's already happening. For example, I nourish my body with good food and healthy exercise. With every breath I take, I am getting healthier and healthier. I have amazing ideas that make the world a better place. I am deeply loved unconditionally. I love myself fully. You can use any of those examples or you can take some time now and come up with one of your own. Choose your Sankalpa now. Imagine your Sankalpa has already come to pass, that you are watching it unfold before you on a screen right in front of you or that you're actually experiencing it. How would you feel? What would your life look like? How amazing would you feel? What would it satisfy within you? Allow yourself to feel those emotions now and with those emotions, say your sankalpa in your mind three times.
Allow your sankalpa to drift away. Now we will move on to a rotation of consciousness. I will say a part of the body. Bring your awareness to that body part as it's named. If you are a visual person, you can imagine that body part lighting up with an orange glow, orange to honor the sacral chakra, the chakra of creativity. Bring your awareness to your right hand thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinky, palm of the hand, back of the hand, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, right shoulder, armpit, right side ribs, right side waist, right hip, right thigh, knee, lower leg, ankle, heel, sole of the foot, top of the foot, right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, Bring your awareness to your left hand thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinky, palm of the hand, back of the hand, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, left shoulder, armpit, left side ribs, left side waist, left hip, thigh, knee, lower leg, ankle, heel, sole of the foot, top of the foot, left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe. Both heels knees, both hips, the entire back, back of the head, crown of the head, 
eyebrows, eyes, nose, cheek, both cheeks, the chin, the entire face, the torso, abdomen, left side of the body, right side of the body, left side of the body, right side of the body, whole body, whole body, whole body. Notice your natural breath. Notice how deep, shallow, whatever it is, however it presents itself, just notice the quality of the breath. Count every exhale from eight all the way down to one. If you lose track, you can just start again at eight. Release the counting of the breath. Allow yourself a feeling of heaviness over the whole body. Now allow yourself a feeling of lightness and surrender. Release the sensations of opposites. Bring your awareness to the screen of your mind. In this screen, remember your sankalpa, your deepest and your most heartfelt desire and see it unfolding and happening in this screen of your mind. Now, release the visualization and say your sankalpa in your mind three times. Let your sankalpa go. The practice of yoga nidra is coming to an end. Take in an intentional deep inhale to gently reawaken the body. If you would like to stay in the state of yoga nidra, you can continue here without waking up or coming back to awareness. You can stay in this twilight state, in the state of yoga nidra for as long as you wish. But when you are ready, make your way to one side 
Use your top hand to press yourself into seated. Bring hands to heart center. The practice of Yoga Nidra is complete. Namaste.